Hey, what's going on you guys? In this video, I'm going to be talking about a few different side hustles that you can get started with to start earning some extra money. Hey, what's going on you guys? Benjamin here with Motivational Marketer. And in this video, I'm going to be talking about seven different side hustles that you can get started with so you can start to earn some extra cash. Now, these seven different side hustles that I'm going to be sharing with you guys, you can do them part time just to earn some extra cash. Or if you're just tired of working at your regular nine to five job, you can actually do these full time and earn a full time income from them. So before I get into this video, I just want to first welcome you guys to my channel. And if this is your first time here and you're interested in learning different methods when it comes to making money online, I invite you to subscribe and also hit the bell icon so you'll be notified when I upload new videos. Okay, so with that being said, let me just jump over to my computer so I can show you guys these different side hustles that you can get started with. Alright you guys, so these websites that I'm going to be sharing with you guys, some of these are going to be pretty obvious and then some of these you probably might not have heard about. So let me talk about the first one, which is going to be Fiverr. Now, most of you probably heard about this website before. This is a freelancing website, meaning that you can provide services and if people contact you for your service you provide that service and then you get paid for it so you can provide a wide range of different services on this website just to give you guys an example of all the categories that they have they have graphics and designs and that's like one category and they have subcategories that are under that they have digital marketing writing and translation video animation music and audio programming I mean there's all kinds of services that you can provide I mean you can also come here to get services provided for you but if you want to make money I mean I would recommend learning how to do any type of skill that you would be interested in um, providing and then create your profile with Fiverr now in order to sign up all you have to do is just click right here where it says become a seller and then they explain how it works so you're gonna create a gig meaning like uh, kinda like uh, the service that you're gonna be providing when somebody contacts you or they order your service you're gonna deliver that service and then you're gonna get paid so you get paid every time that you complete your service let me give you guys an example of like one of the services that they have to offer let's say that you sign up to provide a service let's say let's say digital marketing now let's say you know how to do SEO which is pretty uh which is pretty advanced for most people now, as you can see, they have a wide variety of different price ranges when it comes to SEO, but I'm pretty sure that these people offer different services when it comes to SEO. So let's say we click on this guy's uh, profile and it says right here, I will create a full SEO campaign for your website. So pretty much he will optimize your website so it will show up in search results. So he has different packages. The basic package is basic, $50, standard, 100 and premium is 175 so at different price points he's offering more uh, services so obviously if you know how to do SEO I mean you can charge a good amount of money or you can charge a relatively fair price I mean just to be competitive with everybody else and you'll get people who are gonna request your service now maybe as you get more uh, experienced and skilled with this you can just raise your price up little by little and once you get people who are satisfied with your work I mean they're more than likely willing to pay that extra price. Now let me go over to another website. It's called Upwork. Now this is basically the same thing as Fiverr. It's another freelancing website. And I mean, you can actually create a web uh, profile on both of these uh, platforms. So as you can see, the categories are pretty similar to Fiverr. They have IT, networking, data science, and analytics, engineering writing translation legal design and creative i mean there's a whole bunch of different categories that they have available i mean if you know how to provide any of these services i mean i would recommend creating a profile and signing up and provide a service now if you're wondering how it works when it comes to signing up so you come right here where it says how it works and then you click on where it says if you're working so so you can work on the projects that you choose to work on. I mean, you don't have to take every project that somebody is requiring from you. So you can just pick and choose what projects that you want to work on. Now, the more success that you have on your projects, the more likely that people are going to contact you to work and provide services for them. So these are the two freelancing websites that I wanted to mention. You can do these in your spare time. Maybe when you have a couple of extra hours after work or maybe on your day off. 
it doesn't take a whole lot of uh, time out of your day to uh, provide a service. It depends on what kind of service it is, obviously. But I mean, it's just something that you can work on in your spare time. So let me go over to the third side hustle, which is going to be a website called Lime. Now, if you don't know what Lime is, it's basically like a app that you can download on your phone if you want to rent an electric scooter. But if you're wondering how you can make money working with Lime, those electric scooters, they need to be recharged every day. So what you can do is you can sign up to charge those electric scooters. So if we scroll all the way down to the bottom of the page, where it says join us, we're going to click where it says juicers. And then right here, you can apply to sign up with Lime. So you're going to enter in your information, first name, last name, your phone number, email, your zip code, and then you can sign up and they break it down on how it works. So you can set your own schedule and then you get paid for each task. So basically you get paid for every scooter that you charge. So the more scooters that you charge at once, the more that you're going to make, obviously. So basically, once you sign up, you're going to download the app on your phone and then it's going to show you in your area how many scooters need to be recharged. So you go to the location of the scooters, you pick them up and then you take them home and you charge them. And usually they pay about maybe between five to eight dollars at the most to charge each scooter. So you would have to charge these scooters at the end of the day, maybe around five or six o'clock p.m. And then you have to charge them and you have to put them back out on the street before 7 a.m. Now, this is something that you can do maybe in your spare time on the weekend or you can actually do this full time and earn a good amount of money. OK, so let me go to the fourth side hustle that you can get started with, and that's going to be Lyft. Now, I'm pretty sure everybody knows what Lyft is. It's the competition to Uber. So this is a ride sharing app. So you can sign up to become a Lyft driver and start earning money that way. Now, this is something that you can also do part time, maybe on the weekend. Maybe if you have a part time job, you can do Lyft to uh, supplement your income or you can just do this full time. Now, to sign up to become a Lyft driver, they have a series of requirements in order to become a driver. It depends on your area. But let's say that we're in the California area and they have the information on what you need in order to become a driver. So you need vehicle requirements. So you have to get your car inspected to make sure that it's safe to drive. Everything has to be working, your lights, your horn, your seat belts. They want to make sure that it's safe for passengers. And when it comes to driving requirements, they do require you to be 21 years or older. You need to be able to pass a driving screening and also a criminal background check. They just want to make sure that you're not going to kidnap all your passengers and keep them in your basement or something. And of course, you need to have a valid driver license and you need a phone to download the Lyft app so you can pick up passengers and your car can not be too old in order to drive for Lyft. Now, when it comes to how old your car can be, they have vehicle requirements for that. It depends on your location. If we're in the Los Angeles area, it has to be a 2005 or newer and it has to be a four door. And also, if you're using somebody else's car, the registration doesn't have to be under your name, but the insurance does have to be under your name in order to be a Lyft driver. Now, when it comes to how much money you can make with Lyft, I mean, it depends. It all depends on how many passengers you pick up and the distance that you're taking them to. Now, obviously, the farther that you drive somebody, the more that you're going to get paid. Lyft pays you a certain amount per mile that you drive a passenger and a certain amount per minute. So as I mentioned, this is something that you can do part time, maybe on the weekends after work, or you can actually do this full time and earn a full time income from it. OK, so let me go to the next side hustle that you can get started with, and that's going to be DoorDash. Now, if you don't know what DoorDash is, it's kind of like Uber Eats, where it's basically you download the app. You can order food on your phone and you can have somebody deliver it to your front door. So you can actually make money by delivering food to people. Now, if you're wondering how it works, I mean, you can just check right here and where it says how to become a dasher. So basically, in order to get started with DoorDash, you need to sign up. You need to set up your profile and then you need to consent to have a background check done on you. So I guess they want to make sure that you're not going to be eating people's food while you're delivering it to them. And you need to do a motor vehicle check if you're going to be using a car, which I mean, I think most people would be. So once your background check clears, you're going to watch an introduction video that's going to explain how you get started. You're going to receive an activation kit and then you're basically going to follow the steps that they tell you to do. 
you're gonna install the app you're gonna set up a red card so basically this is what you're gonna be using to pay when you go to fast food places or restaurants so you're not gonna be paying for the food out of your pocket and then you're gonna have to set up your banking information so you can get paid through the app and then you can just start uh, delivering food now this side hustle I mean it's not really gonna make you a whole lot but I mean it is a little bit of extra cash to have in your pocket now let me talk about the last method that you can get started with as a side hustle which is affiliate marketing now the cool thing about affiliate marketing is that this is something that you can do part-time and over time you can actually build it up to become a full-time income now I'm sure everybody has heard about Amazon well they have an affiliate program called Amazon Associates so what we can do is we can scroll down on the home page of Amazon and it's gonna say make money with this so we're gonna look for the right here where it says become an affiliate and that's gonna take us to the Amazon Associates page now if you're wondering how it works basically you just sign up but now Amazon requires you to have your own website in order to become an affiliate for them now if you don't know what affiliate marketing is it's basically where you're recommending other people's products online through a link that's coded to you so if somebody clicks on your affiliate link and they buy the product that you're promoting then you would earn a commission from that so you sign up for their affiliate program you're gonna advertise that product and then you earn every time somebody clicks on your link and they purchase that product so you can promote affiliate products on your social media maybe you're somebody who has an Instagram page about fitness or a Facebook page about fitness you can promote health and fitness supplements on your page create a post where you have an affiliate link to a certain product that's uh, gonna help people lose weight and if people click on that link and they purchase that product then you would earn a commission so this is a great way to earn some extra money if you have an audience to sell to and if you guys want to learn more about affiliate marketing I have a free ebook download down in the description below called affiliate marketing blueprint so I basically go over what affiliate marketing is in more detail and how you can use it to start earning money online so that's basically it for the best side hustles that you can get started with well that's pretty much it for this video I hope you guys enjoyed it and if you did don't forget to give it a thumbs up and if you guys tried out any of these side hustles before let me know down in the comments below what you guys thought about them well that's pretty much it so with that being said I'll catch you guys in the next one